A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Come on, Silver. A single glance at the strange-looking little man hurrying along King City's main street was enough to understand how he had earned the nickname The Weasel. Behind his long, pinched face, a pair of round, beady eyes shifted nervously. His small mouth twitched beneath his heavy black mustache as he headed along the boardwalk toward the Twin Pines Cafe. The weasel paused a moment in front of the cafe, then hurried through the swinging doors. Ignoring the glances of the men in the cafe, the weasel continued his peculiar bouncing gait until he reached the end of the long mahogany bar. And he spoke to the bartender. Hello, Sam. What? It's the weasel. Never mind. Where's the boss? Out in his office, back at the cafe, weasel. Thanks, Sam. Hello, weasel. Welcome back to King City. Hello, boss. Come over here. Sit down, weasel. Thanks, boss. Well, weasel, it's been a long time. It's been five years. Five long years. Well, you can forget the past now. You're back, and I've got a good job for you. Just like I promised the court. Boss, I, I've got a little unfinished business to attend to before I'm ready to start work. I don't get you, Weasel. Five years ago, an old Hank Summers testified against me, and I went to prison. I swore I'd kill him when I got out. Well, forget that talk. You served your time. It's all over. Officially, it is. You were lucky to get parole, you know. Besides, old Hank Summers is dead. Dead? You sure? Ain't kidding. It's true. He died about two years ago. So now you can settle down to honest work. I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted the privilege of taking care of that buzzard my own way. Now, Weasel, you Wait can... a minute. Didn't Hank have a daughter? Yes, that's right. Why? Marie, I believe her name was. Yes, her name was Marie. And... But you, uh... Where is 
is she now? Weasel. What are you thinking about? I asked you a question. Where is she? Oh, very well. You'll find out anyway. She's running a small cattle ranch outside the town of Morgan. Bar H, she calls it. Uh, Bar H. Weasel. You're not going to... I'm going to settle my score with her. Now, just you listen to me. It took five years of hard work and a lot of money to convince the law that you killed that last fellow in self-defense. I got you out because I thought you would go straight. I've got a plan, a wonderful plan. Weasel! You're not even listening to me. It's the result of five long years of thinking. I plan to use it on Hank, but it'll work just as well on his daughter. Get out! Get out of here, Weasel. I'm through with you. Through, do you hear? You aren't going to tell the law, are you? I'm not going to tell anyone anything. I just want you out of my sight. I'm sorry I ever got you out of jail. So help me, if you lay a finger on that girl, I hope they string you to the highest tree. Here comes a stage from King City now. Yep, right on time. <laughs> Eleven pickings. That stage ain't been late for two years. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Steady, you critter, steady. Whoa, there, whoa. All out for Morgan, all out. Howdy, Bill. Have a good trip? Well, usual, except for this local critter beside me here. Yeah, how's that, Bill? He spent the whole trip to King City... Confessing to every hold up and killing that's been pulled in the West the past ten years. Well, you don't say. Never saw one man take credit for so many crimes in my life. <laughs> yes, Dale, what is it? Some hombre just held up a hired man. Well, you're taking my money over to the bank. Hey, so, what do you look like? Listen, Sheriff. I did it. I did it. You did what? Why, what that man's talking about. I'm the bandit. Now, see here, the robbery he's talking about just happened about a minute ago. That's right. Come on, Dale, we'll try to find that <laughs> Well, I'm glad that I amuse you, my friends. <laughs> oh, no hard feelings, stranger. <laughs> it's just that you keep confessing to every crime that's committed. <laughs> that's enough to make anyone laugh. <laughs> Two interested men stood on the other side of the street watching the activity about the newcomer. One was the Lone Ranger, disguised as a cowhand. The other was Tonto, his faithful Indian companion. Well, Tonto... It looks as if he's the only passenger for Morgan. Ah, him not look like killer. No, he seemed loco. Uh, Padre not say in letter what weasel feller looked like? He only said the weasel was paroled and was coming here. Oh, that's plenty big problem. We do know the weasel will go to the bar each eventually if he's after Marie Somers. Uh-huh. I'm going to take a job as a hand out there. Oh, and what me do? You keep an eye on things here. Ah. We'll meet each night at our camp outside town. Well, it's time I started for the bar age. Uh, planning on staying in town for a spell? Why, yes. That is, if I can get some kind of a job. Uh, what kind of work do you want? Well, I'm not particular, just so it's an honest living. I could use a man over at my general store. You could? Can't pay much, but I can give you a nice warm place to sleep in the back room. Fine. I'll take it. Uh, if you're going to work for me, I guess I don't know your name. Oh, yes. I, I guess you should. Uh, Meek's my name. Oscar Meek. <laughs> Oscar Meek. <laughs> that sure is a harmless-sounding name. <laughs> Higgins is my handle. Lamb Higgins. <laughs> I'm glad to know you, Mr. Higgins. Oh, oh, Silver, oh, boy. Oh, steady, big fella. Yes? What is it? Oh, pardon me. I'm looking for the ranch foreman. Foreman's in town, but I'm Marie Somers. How do you do? This is my ranch. Is there something I can do? Well, you see, I'm looking for a job. Oh, I'm sorry, but we don't need any more help right now. Bar H is only a small outfit, you know, and... I have been misinformed. A man told me you needed help. Needed help? That's right. What man? 
Who do you mean? A padre who has a mission not far from here. A padre? He told me in his letter that he was sending someone to see me, but I... You didn't expect him to be dressed like this? Well, I... Did he say the one he was sending would identify himself? Why, yes, he did. Say, with something that looked like this? Why, it's a silver bullet. Is that what you wanted to see? Yes. You may keep it. Then you're the Lone Ranger. And time to disguise is a more convenient way to travel. I'm so glad you're here. Now do you need a hand? Yes, of course. But there's something I'd like to know. Oh? What is it? Why did the Padre send you? He didn't tell you. He only said he was sending you here on an important mission. I see. Please tell me. Did your father ever tell you about a killer known as the Weasel? The Weasel? Why, yes. He swore to kill my father if he ever got out of prison. That's why the Padre sent me. I don't understand. The Weasel was sent to prison for life. But he was paroled a few weeks ago. Then he's coming here? I'm not sure, but I want to be here until we know his plans. The Lone Ranger established himself as a cowhand at the Bar H Ranch. Meanwhile, the weasel assumed the role of the village buffoon. Several days later, there was a shooting in the town of Morgan. While the sheriff was busy with a posse tracking down the killer, the weasel, in his role as Oscar Meek, ran into the sheriff's office where a new deputy was in charge. Sheriff? Sheriff? Sheriff ain't here. I'm in charge while he's away. Then perhaps I'd better talk to you. My name's Oscar. Oscar Meek. I can't keep quiet any longer, deputy. I killed Doc Carver. You? And you're the one the sheriff's looking for. That's right. I'm the one. Now, please lock me up. I'm ready to pay for my crime. Well, if this don't beat all, begging to be locked up. Only because I'm a murderer. Well, in that case, I guess I'll let... Now, wait a minute. What's wrong? That sounds like the sheriff and his posse pulling up now. Well, howdy, Sheriff. Glad to see you back. Howdy, deputy. Good morning, Sheriff. Morning, Oscar. What are you doing here? Sheriff, I've got news for you. What do you mean? I've got the killer. You what? I just found out who killed Doc Carver. Deputy, what in thunder are you talking about? I was sitting here in the office and he walked right in and confessed. Who did? Who walked right in and confessed? Oscar did. Oscar? That's right. Oh, no. <laughs> Oscar's at it again. Oh, what a lord. That's good. Huh? <laughs> Sheriff, what's so funny? Uh, Gully, I don't know which of you two is the craziest. Why? What do you mean, Sheriff? Uh, I guess I forgot to warn you about Oscar. Now, Sheriff, He's the you... biggest fool that ever hit town. Spends half his time confessing every crime committed. You mean sure. this hombre's fooling me? Why, sure. We got the real killer right here. Sure. You have? Take a good look at him. Why, it's Black Mike. Sure it is. Caught him up in the mountains. Well, I'll be doggone. He's quite a catch, too. Got a record as long as my arm. And what about Oscar here? Oscar, your joke's over. Now, you get out of here before I toss you out. Very well, Sheriff. I, I'm going. I'm You'd going. better go, and fast, too. I've had enough of your monkey shines to last for quite a spell. Yes, sir, I understand. And if you Sheriff. ever come in here with a confession again, I'll forget I'm Sheriff and break every bone in your body. <laughs> It was late that evening when the Lone Ranger, still in his disguise, reined up in the camp where Tonto was waiting. Oh, oh Silver, oh boy, steady. How came us happy? Hello, Tonto, steady, big fella. Oh, you look tired. They've been keeping me busy at the bar, H. Oh. Well, uh, what news do you have? <laughs> Oscar fella confessed to murder today. Hmm. He does a lot of confessing. When new deputies start to lock him up when Sheriff bring real killer. Uh, throw Oscar out. I see. Tonto, are there any newcomers in town? No. No one since Oscar. Oscar. Oscar again, huh? According to the Padre's letter, the weasel should have arrived several days ago. Ah. Well, maybe him here in disguise. That's possible. Ah. Tonto, I want you to ride over to King City. Uh, what me do there? Get a full description of the weasel from the sheriff there. He knows him. That good idea. Yes, it'll help to know what he looks like. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. The day after the weasel, alias Oscar Meek, confessed to a murder and was thrown out of jail when the real killer was captured, George Wright, R.H. Foreman, stopped in at the general store. Well, he needs more help down there, I'll tell you that. He needs more help. Howdy, George. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy, Sheriff. Yeah, what brings you into town for dark? Yeah, I didn't know you'd have to buy H during working hours. Well, this is a special occasion. Today's my birthday. Well, well <laughs> congratulations, hey, George. Golly, I didn't know you were still having them things. <laughs> well, Miss Summers, let me bring all the hands into town for the afternoon and evening. We're going to have a real celebration. Just stopped in to invite you boys to the party. Well, thanks, George. But, uh... You ain't leaving Miss Marie out there all alone on that ranch, are you? Oh, no, I wouldn't think of it, especially now that the weasel's out of prison. I don't think he'd be mean enough to take his spite out on Marie, though. Well, the girl's been nervous about it, and that's why she hired that new hand. You mean that big fellow they call Slim? That's right, Slim. He's mighty handy with a gun. Is he out there guarding her now? Yep. If the weasel showed up with him around, he'd walk into a mess of trouble. Pardon me, Mr. Higgins. Uh, Excuse me a minute, George. Yeah. What is it, Oscar? I don't feel so good, Mr. Higgins. Oh, that's too bad. I'm going back and lie down for a few minutes. Might as well take the rest of the day off, Oscar. Ain't much business anyhow. Oh, thanks, Mr. Higgins. Wonder what's the matter with him. <laughs> Nothing serious. Probably been eating too many green apples oh. again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to run along now. The boys are waiting for me at the cafe. Yeah, hey, sure, George. Have a good time. You bet. We may look in on you later. Fine, Sheriff. Yeah. Glad to have you. Slim. Urgent. Someone must have pinned it there while I was in the store. Well, I guess you better take it out to him. Might be important. Get it back. Hey, Slim. What are you doing back here? There's someone pinned this note to my saddle. It's for you. Hmm. That's strange. Oh, here you are. Oh, thanks, George. Maybe you'd better open it before I leave, just in case you're Yes, somebody. perhaps I'd better. Oh, pardon me a minute. Certainly. Right ahead. Hmm. Anything wrong? Just a note from a friend. Oh, uh, well, then I guess I'll get back to town. Get up there. Oh, thanks, George. Something wrong? I want you to see the note I just received. A note? Yes, read it. Very well. The weasel arrived this evening on the 10 o'clock stage. Stop him before he gets to the bar H. Signed, a friend. Who could have sent this? I don't know. And the weasel is coming. Tonto's left town, so I'm going to meet that stage. Whatever you think best. I'll, I'll have to leave you alone, but we'll take certain precautions. That evening, the Lone Ranger removed his disguise and donned his familiar mask and rode into Morgan to await the arrival of the stage. As the masked man sat in the shadows near the stage office, he heard hoofbeats approaching. He recognized them as those of Tonto's paint horse, Scout. Tonto? Kimasabi? I'm over here with the building. What you do here? Waiting for the stage from King City. Oh, what matter? I received an anonymous note saying the weasel was coming in on that stage. Why, that's strange. What do you mean? Well, me ride long side stage most away. Were you able to see inside? Ah, uh, and no passenger this trip. Are you sure? Tonto sure. And I've been tricked. He talked to driver. Him say him all alone. Tonto, did you get the description we wanted? Ah, uh, me get him. Good. All written on paper here. I'll read it later. We better get back to the ranch.
Oh, oh, sir. Oh, sir. Let me go. Oh, Pardon. Easy. Pardon. Pardon. Something's wrong. All the lights are on in the house. Uh, let me see. Hey, come with me. Uh. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. I'm so glad. Marie, you've been crying. What happened? At 10 o'clock, someone fired six shots into my room. Did you get a look at him? No, it was dark outside. I couldn't see. I know. The weasels tricked us. Ah, uh, it plenty good. Girl, not hurt. We prepared against that. Now, let me see that description of the weasel. Uh-huh. Uh, here, here, paper. Let me see what it says. Five feet five, long black hair, heavy black mustache, long pinched face, small bitty eyes, good dresser. I was right. I mean, not see fellow like that. Tonto, you suggested that the weasel might be in disguise. Isn't that right? No newcomers have arrived in Morgan since Oscar Meek. No. Yet we know the weasel's in town. Isn't that right. Marie Tonto, we're going to get the sheriff and pay Oscar Meek a visit. <laughs> Sometime later, Lem Higgins was about to close the general store for the night. He had just locked his front door when three men came up. They were the Lone Ranger, Tonto, and the Sheriff. Open up, men. Open the door. All right, Sheriff. Just a minute, just a minute. What can the Sheriff want at this time of night? Howdy, Lem. Glad we caught you before you left for home. Sheriff, what in tarnation are you doing with this mask fella and that redskin? Never mind the mask, man. We want to talk to Oscar. Oscar? What's he done now? I'm not sure yet. Where is he? Way out in the back room asleep. Come on. Sleep, huh? That's right. Remember, he said he didn't feel so good this afternoon. I remember. He's been back there ever since. This is where he sleeps. Not open the door. Wait, light a lamp so you can see. Thanks, Lem. There you are. Oscar. Uh, what? Oscar, wake up. What? what do you want? It's the sheriff, Oscar. He wants to talk to you. What's wrong, Sheriff? Oscar, were you out at Marie Summers' place tonight? Well, what do you want to know? I want the truth about tonight. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's been sleeping right here in this room since this afternoon. Look at his boots. They're all shine. Sure they are. Slicker than the cat's whiskers. That's right. Saw him shining myself before he went to bed. If he'd gone out to the bar eats, he'd have been dusty, wouldn't he? Of course they would. What is it? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. Some ornery polecat cat poured six bullet into Marie Summers' bed tonight. No, they couldn't. Why, that's terrible. I did it, Sheriff. I did it. I'll confess. Now see what you've done, Sheriff. You got him started again. Sheriff, you've got to lock me up. Let him confess. Ah, he's always confessing. This is the confession you want. What do you mean? You heard him say he killed her? Yes, of course. Lem, you heard him? Yes, but he's Otto. always... Uh, me here. Oscar, do you admit you were at the bar H tonight? Sure, sure, I was there. Sheriff, this masked fellow's crazier than Oscar. And you fired six shots through the window into Marie Sommer's bed? Yes. Sheriff, why don't you stop this nonsense? Sheriff, he just confessed. Lock him up. Maybe I'd better. Come on, Oscar. Wait, uh... You mean you're really going to lock me up? You just confessed, didn't you? But you know how I am. I I make lots of mistakes like that. But this time you told the truth. But uh, uh, Mr. Higgins told you I was here all evening. Uh, he's probably right. You know how mixed up I get. You could have sneaked out the back door. Uh, but uh, my boots, they'd have been dusty. We've been all through that. You could have re-shined your boots when you returned. Hey, Gully, that's right. He could have. I have a witness who can prove that Oscar was at the Bar H tonight. Witness? No, that can't be true. Otto, get the witness. Uh, Otto, get him. Oscar came to Morgan for just one purpose. Now, hold on. What are you talking about? What did he come here for? To kill Marie Sommers. What? No, he couldn't. By confessing to every crime committed, he thought no one would believe him guilty of anything. He took great pains to establish a reputation as a harmless individual. Sheriff, what's he talking about? Uh. Here, witness. Thanks, Otto. Why, it's Marie Summers herself. No, no, it's not. Now, Oscar, you just hush up a minute. Sheriff, thanks to this masked man, what Oscar thought was me asleep was only some old blankets rolled up. I brought them along as evidence. Otto, give me those blankets. Uh Here, Kimasabi. Well, I'll be... Thanks, Otto. Look at them, Sheriff. They're full of bullet holes. So you were out there, huh, Oscar? I'm not talking. You're beginning to change your tune, ain't you? Sheriff, read this description of the weasel that Tonto brought back from the sheriff at King City. Weasel? But I'm Go ahead and read it. Well, let me see. Long, pinched face, small, beady eyes. Now, Sheriff, try to imagine what Oscar would look like with longer hair and a heavy mustache. 
You don't mean that. Sheriff, take a good look. He's the weasel. No, it's a lie. He came here to kill Marie Summers. So he thought he'd figured out a perfect killing, huh? You can't do anything to me. I didn't kill her. Weasel, you violated your parole by attempting murder. And that's enough to send you to prison for the rest of your life. Stay away from me. I'm taking you over to jail right now. No, you don't. Look out, Sheriff. He pulled a gun from under his shirt. Now I'll do the talking. This masked fool spoiled my plans a little. But I've got enough bullets in this gun for all of you. I intend to use them. Put down that gun. Keep your orders to yourself. So you thought I was crazy, huh, Higgins? I still think you are. Well, I know a few tricks with blankets, too. If you'd looked close this evening, you'd have seen that I had a couple in my bed. You mean I that... sneaked out all right and put blankets in my place. Speaking of old blankets, take these. <laughs> Good work. Well, I'll be... That was pretty smart. Tossing those blankets into his face to throw him off balance. Oh, my arm. My arm. Get up. Looks like you're all through now, weasel. All right, Sheriff. I got him this time. Yeah. Come on, Tonto. Uh-huh. He's wonderful. Well, who's wonderful? The Lone Ranger. The, the what? That mash fella wasn't the Lone Ranger. See this? Why? Why, it's a silver bullet. Well, what do you know? He gave it to me. And I'll carry it with me the rest of my life. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.